I was one of the first people using Twitter. I was using it quite happily for a bit, and then I noticed that there were people on Twitter who thought it was a good idea to call me a c My new show is called Trolls Not The Dolls. I did a show called Fame Not The Musical, which was about fame, and then I did a show called My Family, Not The Sitcom, which is about my family. So you'll see the not the is a lie. I was quite an early investor in Twitter, by which I don't mean that I put money into it, unfortunately. One of the early laws of social media, don't feed the trolls. And I always had a problem with that because I am a comedian and comedians get heckled. So when I got heckled, which is really what's happening online, I couldn't see any difference. So I very quickly decided the best thing to do is not to ignore them, but to repeat and then to try and say something funny that took them down. And what I found was the audience, i.e. the other people following me, quite liked that. Firstly, I was just responding to trolls on Twitter, sort of for a laugh. But then I noticed that the way that trolls were was kind of defining the way we speak in general. The show has an element of my Twitter feed live, but it's a bit more than that as well. I also, in this show, use my Twitter feed and my interactions with trolls to tell a kind of diary of my life over the last 10 years, but also all our lives. So I hope that people will go away having laughed at some of the ways I've talked to trolls, having laughed at some of the things that I say that are not on Twitter, but also thinking a bit about why everyone's so f angry. Uh, by the way, if you follow me, you might be in it uh, because I use lots of stuff uh, from my Twitter feed. Come and see the show, and if you like, you'll be able to, during the show or afterwards online, call me a c